Hello everybody, this is Mewtwo407 with another video, and today I'm going to be reviewing my 2019 Kyle Busch Homestead Race version diecast. And this is another diecast I picked up from Bench Racing Collectibles, and this diecast is going for a lot of money. I noticed, I think I checked eBay two days ago, and they're going for 170 bucks, and that's what they sold for, so not quite sure why it went up that fast, but it seems like for the most part Homestead cars increase in value over time, but I've never seen a diecast increase that fast. I know Tyler Reddick's Homestead car is also going for a lot of money, so if you can find those two at a decent price, I'd pick them up. Now starting out, we can take a look at the box. Just a typical race version diecast box. Nothing too special. Of course, we got the render of the car. And we have the production number. And then the schedule on the back. It's going to be funny seeing the 2020 cars. And I wonder if Lionel's going to update it for the more recent race versions to the updated schedule. I guess only time will tell. But inside the box, of course, we get our little winner sticker, which you guys have seen a million times. And it seems to be stuck to my box. I'll try and get it out. And you also get a little information card that tells you about the race. You know, the statistics, how many laps Kyle Busch led, and that kind of stuff. So here is the little card. And we also have the winner sticker that is right here. So very cool. Let's get back to the die cast. So I'll start out with a quick 360 of it. And this is another clean, well, was clean before Victory Lane. Kyle Busch car, no marks on it, no scratches. Just a very clean win by Kyle. We can start out on the hood. We have the red, green, and blue M&Ms. We also have the Playoffs banner, the Monster Energy logo, and then 18 on the roof. We also have the M&Ms here and M&Ms on the deck lid. Back bumper, we have M&M's, well, just a bunch of M&M's, and Toyota, along with the 18. And we have the green wing because playoffs. Left side of the car, we have 18 M&M's, interstate batteries, the round of four logo, we have the Monster Energy Playoffs logo, and we have Ream, and a bunch of contingencies. You can see a few of them there, Cessna, Lincoln Welders, and Stanley. Front end of the car, we have 18 and Camry. In the right side of the car, we have Ream, 18, M&M's, Interstate Batteries, the round of four, the Monster Energy Playoffs logo, Stanley, and all the same contingencies. Now I'll go over the race markings and just kind of race detail that isn't, you know, on a typical die cast. Start out with the front end. As you guys can see, we have some tape on the nose. We also have a whole bunch of confetti and the green line above the splitter, which I always thought was these that was on the splitter, but I never really noticed that until getting a race version die cast set. That's actually a line above the splitter. So a little interesting thing there. We also have, if you guys look very closely, a kind of like a, uh, I don't know what to call it. Like it looks like a piece of tape is under there. Maybe it's the uh, banner. It's like a visor on the window and a whole bunch of green and black confetti, which looks really nice. On the roof, this is probably my favorite detail, we have bags of M&Ms. And if you guys look at that, they are pretty detailed. I'll zoom in on one. And that's just a really cool touch by Lionel. I like when they do that kind of stuff. So definitely a really nice touch. We also have all of our winner stickers right there and on the deck lid we also have a couple of bags of M&Ms. Rear bumper, no real race markings, just a little bit of rubber and dirt. And then the left side of the car, nothing really major, just a little bit of rubber around the rear fender. 
And my favorite thing about race version diecast is how the tires are detailed. I absolutely love how you've got the um, numbers of all the drivers on the team with the rims. And you can see the barcode there and all the writing like L18. I just love that kind of stuff. And I wish Lionel would put that on their standard cars. Even if it's not 100% accurate, just something that looks like that would look amazing. And then the rear end of the car, same there. Go over to the right side. Nice looking tires. And a little bit more rubber here than on the left side. You guys take a look at that nose. You got a decent amount of rubber there. And a little bit of rubber on the 18. Really stands out though, because it's white. Some rubber around the uh, rear fender. And that's about it. We also have the four winter stickers because they don't put on two in victory lane, they only put on one. Something I forgot to mention, which is one of my favorite features on Kyle Busch's cars is the signature. It just looks so cool. Got that on both sides. And overall, like I said, this car is getting rarer by the day. 170 was the most recent sale that I saw, and the Reddit car is also going up pretty well. So I would definitely pick this one up now if you see one for a decent price. Even 80 bucks for one of these seems like a good price now. But if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, turn on post notifications. This has been Me Too 407. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.